What's going on guys, G Messi here and welcome to a brand new video. Welcome to your daily dose of transfer gossip. And today is going to be Tuesday the 9th of July, got confirmed us to go through as well as the rumours. So just before we get started, if you could do that good stuff by leaving a like rating, press the subscribe button if you're new, and press the bell notification next to it so you never miss an upload. Yes, this episode will be down below in the description box, and current schedule every day at 8am UK time, it's a new transfer episode. And finally, in the comment section below, it's been a while since I asked the question, but what team do you support? Right, let's jump into the confirmed deals, and we have got a fair amount to go through today. And uh, first up, we've got Muriki, or Muriki, if I say his name right, I do apologise. But he joined Fenerbahce from Razor Spore as a 3.5 million euro fee. Rico has joined Huesca from Athletic Bilbao as a free transfer for him. And at least for FIFA 19 for the La Liga SBC, Huesca is obviously very expensive, but potentially Rico coming in, it can make it a little bit cheaper. Then we've got Hurtado. He's joined Boca Juniors from Gymnasia as a 4.5 million euro fee. Diego Salza has joined Shenzhen FC in China from SC Braga in Portugal as a 15 million euro fee for him. And it looks like we're a fair amount of transfers in China yesterday because Kim Shin Wook has joined Shanghai Shenhua. It's from Jumbuk Motors and it's a 5.3 million pound fee. El Shirawi has also joined Shanghai Shenua, this time from Roma. He would have been a free transfer in a year's time, and like I mentioned yesterday, is either stay inside a new contract or move to the CSL. And they paid around 20 million euros for him, and he's got a huge wage. Marko Naldovic's move to Shanghai SIPG has been confirmed by both clubs now. He's gone from West Ham for a fee of 22.4 million pounds. And bear in mind there's 100% tax on signing foreign players in China, so it means Shanghai SIPG have technically paid around £45 million. And the tax they do pay for signing players does go straight into developing youth football in China. And I think that's a very really good idea because obviously the inflation of the market in China was going a bit high and um, then signing players for big fees and also offering crazy wages. But now offering that 100% tax, of course the, the clubs have to pay more. But at least it develops the future of Chinese football. And then we got on to Lodi. He featured a couple weeks ago, or maybe even last week, where he's moving to Atletico Madrid and announced they had reached an agreement. But now he's a fish air player from Atletico PR in Brazil. They've paid 25 million euros for him and he signed a six year contract. I believe he is a replacement for Felipe Luiz, who has now not got a club because he's a free agent. And uh, I'm not sure his stats will be for FIFA 20. We'll have to wait and see. Then we move on to uh, one from Real Betis, and technically it's a confirmed deal because they have announced it via their social media, but they have confirmed that goalkeeper Paulo Lopez is on his way to Roma. He's going for a medical, and he's said to complete a 22 million euro move. Mark Bartra, also of Real Betis, has been linked to Roma as well, um, but as of right now, no transfer has been made. Next up, we've got Tyrone Mings. He's now going to Aston Villa from Bournemouth on a permanent basis, and the fee is either 20 million pounds, 25 mil, or 26.5. I've seen all three. But yeah, he has gone to Birmingham for his medical. He's apparently passed it, and uh, all, all we know now is the fee is 20 million pounds or upwards. Then we've got Yuri Telemans, and Sky has said he's now completed his medical with Leicester City. That's ahead of a club record £40 million move from Monaco. He was brilliant on loan for them last season from January onwards, and it makes complete sense why he wants to make it a permanent. And it's one of those transfers that if he stays at Leicester and develops maybe for one or two more years, they can make a massive profit on him. Um, so I'd say it's pretty a no brainer for them. And next up, we've got one from Sky Sports. And they said West Ham have reportedly activated the 50 million euro release clause required to sign Celta Vigo striker Maxi Gomez. And the 22 year old Uruguayan will join the Hammers once they commit to paying the full amount in installments. He was potentially going to go to Valencia. They agreed a deal for him, but apparently uh, West Ham offered double the wages and they've also offered a much higher fee. He will be the replacement for Marko Naltovic, and he was into the Hammers back in January as well, so it's uh, some long-term interest. And next up, according to Football Italia, their sent Genoa defender Christian Romero will have a medical at Juventus on Tuesday, but it's expected he'll leave straight away on loan immediately. The 21-year-old defender will join for a fee of around 20 million euros. He may return to Genoa, but it's more likely he'll head to Atalanta instead. 
Burnley have activated Jay Rodriguez's West Brom release clause. It's £5 million up front and £5 million in add-ons will be paid by the end of the season. So obviously £10 million total. And Burnley also expect to complete the signing of Stoke City defender Eric Peters. That might also be a done deal very soon. And now we have got what I consider the daily update about Antoine Griezmann and his uh, potential move to Barca. So I mentioned yesterday how apparently he said he wasn't going to turn up for first team training and, uh, if, and Atletico did say via a statement that they demanded him to come back and if he doesn't, they will take action. But apparently he followed through with a threat and he didn't turn up. But AS do say Barca will activate his release cause of 120 million euros and that'll be by Tuesday at the latest, so today. It probably makes sense for everyone involved now that it gets sorted like as soon as possible because it's looking pretty bad for everyone. Um, I mean, for Atletico, it's not looking too bad, I suppose. But yeah, for Barca, it doesn't look good. For Griezmann, definitely doesn't look good. And uh, you would imagine that the Atletico want the fee, especially after they just paid 126 mil for Joao Felix. And next up, according to The Telegraph, the SN 16-year-old Harvey Elliott, who is the youngest player ever to feature in the Premier League, will sign for Liverpool this summer. That's after rejecting a scholarship at Fulham. There was interest there from Real Madrid, Paris Saint-Germain and Leipzig, but he's decided to join the Anfield club. Of what I'm aware of, it will be a free transfer, but Liverpool will have to pay Fulham a compensation fee. And uh, I'm not sure if he's too young to be added to FIFA 20. We'll have to wait and see. And next up, according to Tuto Sport, they said AC Milan are considering paying 30 million euros for Benfica's Jetson Fernandez. The 20 year old made 22 appearances for Benfica last year, which was his first season with the first team. But Milan will have to look at their financial situation to see if they can afford that fee, and he has made two appearances already for Portugal. Bayern Munich are interested in Roma's Cengiz Unda and Monaco's Benjamin Henriks, according to Kicker. However, Leroy Sané and Usman Dembele remain at the top of their shortlist. And with both Iron Robin and Frank Ribery leaving in the same window, it makes it a little bit difficult for them because now they are somewhat short on wingers. But they've been linked to so many already, but as of right now, none have been signed. And another player linked to today according to Build is PSV's Steven Bergvine. Apparently Bayern have been monitoring him, um, but in regards to a fee, it doesn't really mention anything, but other reports are suggesting up to 30 million euros. And next up, according to Mundo Deportivo, they're saying Atletico Madrid are the latest team to have taken interest in Spain under 21 star Danny Olmo. Manchester United, Tottenham and Sevilla have all been linked following his impressive showing at the under 21 European Championship. Atletico have already reached out to the Dinamo Zagreb star about bringing him back to Spain, but they'll have to free up space in the squad by getting rid of either Angel Correa or Vitolo. Tottenham are reportedly close to finalising a deal to sign Real Madrid midfielder Danny Ceballos, according to Estadio Deportivo. The former Betis man was one of the standout performers for Spain's under-21 side when they triumphed in the European Championships last month. Uh, it doesn't say if it'd be a loan deal of option to buy or a permanent basis, but apparently Real Madrid, they'd rather a loan deal. Roma have made Shakhtar star Tyson their top priority after seeing Stefan El Shirai leave for China. The Italian side have seen the attacker leave for Shanghai Shenua and are eyeing a replacement for him. Though they do have concerns about Tyson, they are open to spending around 20 million euros needed to land him. Lequipe are saying Christopher Nkunku has delayed his 15 million euro move to Leipzig because he wants time to think. A lot of deal was all done and dusted and would be announced last week, but apparently because he's now waiting to see if Arsenal's interest does manifest into a formal bid. They wanted to sign him back in January, but things didn't really work out, and now potentially the Emirates club could go back in for him. And now moving on according to Correa de Mania, they said Manchester United are lining up a first bid for Bruno Fernandes worth around 55 million euros. He has his heart set on a move to Old Trafford, but Sporting are expected to hold out for a fee closer to 70 million euros instead. Now that article does surprise me a little bit because I believe last week the same source did say that United had a bid rejected already, whereas now they're saying it'll be their first bid. Mino Raiola has confirmed that De Ligt has agreed personal terms already with Juventus. A fee is yet to be finalised though between the two clubs, that's according to The Telegraph. Now, the whole situation with Juventus, last Monday apparently is all a done deal, um, but at least now Raiola has confirmed reports that he's agreed personal terms, but there still seems to be some kind of difference in valuation between Juventus and Ajax. 
A few reports in England today are saying Leicester City have bid for Florian Tovan from Marseille. The bid is believed to be in the region of £28 million and considering that Marseille do need to sell some players for financial fair play reasons, this one could happen. A very reliable journalist called Mohamed Bouhafsi who works for RMC in France is said Everton are to make a bid worth more than €35 million Euros to Barcelona for Malcolm. He's Marcus Silva's number one target this summer and Arsenal are in talks with the players entourage but haven't bid. A huge story has just come out, I'm recording this part of the video at 6pm on Monday and Paris Saint-Germain have released an official statement regarding Neymar. They've confirmed that Neymar has ignored the club's instructions to return to preseason training today and uh, obviously he's playing to Barcelona a lot and he seems to be doing the exact same thing that Griezmann's doing. To sum the statement up, it does mention how Neymar was not present at training uh, when he's required to be and without authorization from the club and PSG will now take action against him. So could that mean Neymar returning to Barcelona is on the cards again? Because if you go back a few days ago, the Barca president is say publicly that Barca want Neymar essentially and Neymar wants to leave, but PSG don't want to sell him. We'll have to see how it pans out, but it looks like he's trying to force the issue now and it could be a very interesting couple of weeks coming up. But that guys is going to be it for this video. So if you could do that good stuff by leaving a like rating, press the subscribe button if you're new and press the bell notification next to it so you never miss an upload. Yes, this episode will be down below in the description box and current schedule every day at 8 a.m. UK time, it's a new transfer episode. And finally in the comment section below, what team do you support? So thank you for watching this video. I'll see you next time.